the home to a massive row that's dominated the discourse over the last 24 to 48 hours. And this row erupted over the appointment of former Supreme Court Judge Abdul Nazir as Andhra Pradesh Governor. Now, President Draupadi Murmu announced the appointment of governors in 12 states on Sunday and ex-Supreme Court Judge Abdul Nazir was appointed as the Andhra Pradesh Governor. The Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Vyas Jagan Mohan Reddy, welcomed the move, saying that it's my privilege to work with Justice Nazir. But the opposition has cried foul over the appointment. Congress leading the opposition's attack, calling the appointment of Justice Nazir a damage to judicial independence and that he was rewarded for, for the judgment or as being part of that constitutional bench that unanimously paved the way for the construction of her Ram Temple at Ram Jan Bhumi in Ayodhya. The center has hit back and slammed the ecosystem by saying that the appointment is a bid to uplift minorities. While the opposition claims that he's been rewarded for his Ayodhya judgment, let us tell you that Justice Nazir has also opposed the center on instant triple talaq. Let's take a look at some of his landmark verdicts or judgments that he's been a part of. He's part of a bench that upheld the center's decision on demonetization in 2023. Justice Nazir was also recently a part of the bench that said that no additional curbs can be placed on the speech of lawmakers. He was part of the bench that paved the way for the Ram Temple in 2019. Justice Nazir was also part of the bench that held privacy as a fundamental right and an integral part to the right to life and liberty. He was also part of the 3 to 2 minority opinion in the 2017 instant Teen Talaq ruling, wherein he held that the practice was legally valid. He noted that Tipal Talaq among Muslims was an integral part of their religion and faith and there cannot be there. Therefore, it cannot be dismissed merely as unconstitutional. But it is also time for us to remind the opposition of some of the appointments that have been made in the past under non-NDA rule. Justice Syed Fazal Ali. First instance, Fazal Ali, who became one of the first judges of the Honorable Supreme Court as, as he was part of the second person, he was the second person to take oath as Chief Justice after Hiralal Kanya. Justice Fazal Ali retired at the age of 65 on the 19th of September 1951, but his retirement was short using Article 128 of the Constitution. The then Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, Justice Kanya, brought him back into the Supreme Court about a month later in October. After his retirement, he resumed work on October 15, 1951. In May 1952, when Justice Ali was still working as a Supreme Court judge, Jawaharlal Nehru announced his appointment as the governor of Odisha. The Supreme Court summer vacations were approaching and as per Nehru's wishes, Justice Fazal Ali resigned from his post on the 30th of May 1952. And within eight days, he assumed charge as governor of Odisha on the 7th of June 1952. The next story, Justice Fatima Bibi, appointed as Supreme Court Judge on the 6th of October 1989, retired as Supreme Court Judge on the 29th of April 1992, appointed as Tamil Nadu Governor on the 25th of Jan 1997, appointed under the Devakoda Government. Justice Abdul Nazir was appointed as Supreme Court Judge on the 17th of February 2017. He retired as Judge on the 4th of Jan 2023, has been appointed Andhra Governor on the 12th of Feb 2023. Justice P. Satashivam, appointed as Supreme Court Judge on the 21st of August 2007, retired as Supreme Court Judge on the 27th of April 2014, assumed office as Kerala Governor on the 5th of September 2014, served as Kerala Governor till the 5th of September 2019. Then, of course, there is the case of Justice Hidayatullah. Justice Hidayatullah served as acting president while still being Chief Justice of India. The first time was in 1969 when the then President Zakir Hussain passed away while in office. Vice President Vivi Giri assumed the President's office as acting president, but in order to contest for the 1969 president presidential elections, Vivi Giri resigned from both positions and Justice Hidayatullah was elevated. Then, in 1982, when President Gani Zail Singh travelled to the US for heart surgery, Justice Hidayatullah once again served as the acting president of India for a few weeks. So there have been multiple instances that have happened, ladies and gentlemen. In the case of Fatima Bibi, do read what Leela Sethji has written in her book and how she was passed over for Fatima Bibi. So there's a lot that history tells us.